Blaze Yoga and Pilates, we've offered therapeutic and healing yoga modalities for 16 years. So why all of a sudden have we thrown Inferno Hot Pilates onto our schedule? I'm Sarah Curry, co-owner of Blaze Yoga and Pilates. If you have questions about uh, IHP or stories to share, make sure that you comment down below so we know what your concerns are and how it's been making you feel. There's three main reasons that we decided this in the summer of 2018 to add Inferno Hot Pilates to our schedule. First, it's effective. It creates change in your body. It helps you to build strength and stability in your body from head to toe. And the second reason is it's science-based. The method we use in Inferno Hot Pilates is called the Tabata method. It's a method of eight sets of 20 seconds on and 10 seconds off. So you work as hard as you can and then you rest. And work as hard as you can and you rest. And it is based on the research done by Dr. Tabata on the US Olympics ice skating team. And one of the most interesting outcomes is not only did people see gains really quickly and um, with a tremendous amount of efficacy, small amounts of work and then showing really big changes, but the people who were at the bottom of the tier on their team were the people who saw the greatest returns. So it was a, it was a way for them to bring their lowest performing athletes up to perform with the most elite people on their team. And so that method is, is used to help you do what's called working muscles to failure. So our goal here is to target different muscle groups and work them as hard as you can, as long as you can, until you can't work them any harder. Working in short bursts like this makes it manageable, but also allows you to challenge yourself to go beyond your current belief system and your limitations. And third, it's a tremendous complement to this yoga practice. We're all trying really hard in yoga to do a good job with our form and our alignment. But just like driving your car down a dirt road, if there's a rut, it's really easy to slip into it. And all of us have places in our bodies and our practices where we're naturally weak. As a culture, I could say overall, we tend to be weak. Uh, we tend to have poor control of our pelvic floor, uh, weak or stiff in the deep muscles of the hips, and then very poor abdominal control and and generally tend to have stiff but weakened back muscles so in this class we get to work on all those places where you know your arms are supposed to be in your by your ears when you do the sit-ups in class but if you can't do it you probably have gotten to a pattern of throwing the arms in front of you so you had a little bit of momentum to come up by skipping doing that sit up correctly all these years what you've done is exacerbate or continue to prolong poor abdominal strength and the thing about yoga that's so tricky is you can do bad alignment for several years before it starts to impact you in a real way in terms of chronic pain. We see enough people in our practice who have uh, persistent pain or chronic problems with like the hamstrings tendon attachment, sacroiliac injuries, um, women who have a really difficult time with bladder control, right? All those things are, are ubiquitous. We see them everywhere. And this method has already, just in the few, first few months we've offered it at the studio, shown a tremendous benefit. Tons of our students who have been trying to rehabilitate proximal hamstring tendinopathy for years, it's gone, right? And we added it to the schedule because it's so effective. The most effective way for you to utilize this IHP is as a supplement to your practice. So try to get into your Inferno Hot Pilates two or three times a week in addition to your yoga practice so that your yoga can keep you flexible and fit and focused and calm and your IHP can make you even more strong in your yoga practice. Fourth reason we added it to the schedule, it's really fun. It's fast paced, the group moves together, there's awesome music blasting and motivating you to work and to move. And you know, the thing about it is, when you're having a good time and enjoying the things that you're doing, your muscles actually fire in a different way. So if you're somebody who has suffered from chronic pain, right, but then you go to your cousin's wedding and you can dance all night and you're not in pain, it works in a very similar way. So if you're trying to get back into enjoying being in your body and enjoying movement, this is a great way for you to try something new, have a good time, and get back to really loving being inside your body. Are you a little bit nervous to try it? You wouldn't be the first person to say that. Um, but there's truly nothing to be scared of. Just like all of our other classes, every single class is beginner friendly and you just show up and do what you can. The biggest challenge is probably gonna be your sense of drive. It's probably gonna be not pushing too hard in your first class. So come in and try it. You will be shocked at how fun, how fast, and how effective it is.